Yo, what's going on everybody? My name is Javier JB. On today's video, I'm going to be reacting to another scary video. And obviously it's by the boy Sam and Kobe. And just to give you guys a little reminder, uh when it comes to their videos, they're basically like an hour plus long. Some are like 40 to 50 minutes. But if they're an hour long, I'm gonna cut that into I wouldn't say like two parts, just one. I would just skip all the backstory on that place to where they begin their investigation for example like this video is 49 minutes long i wouldn't mind reacting to the full video but at the same time i do have to edit i have to record other content so i'm just trying to you know have a little space in between to have time to edit and start pushing the content out but other than that now we can get started in today's video the video is called a ghost encounter we will never forget and let's get right into the video today five minutes ago you're like ah, i don't know if i believe and then boom a door opens oh my god she heard you she's like targeting you yeah you say you didn't oh my god a rainforest with oh, a bunch shit. of mosquitoes in Mississippi and then this is just oh, here. I feel like really feel like a weird energy right Ooh, now fucking hell. what's up guys it's Sam and Colby and welcome to Hell Week Woo! Hell let's go today we are here with Todd and Brett have you guys ever done anything haunted no, no. nothing like <laughs> yeah, first besides my, my dreams and nightmares are you terrified you know I wasn't nervous today but I'm getting pretty Pretty nervous. I've had like past life experiences. When I was a kid, I don't even remember them. But years later, I've had experiences where like these spirits have, have tried to come back to me. So I'm like really nervous walking into this situation to see like what. Say, might, might break something out tonight. So why is the McRaven House considered one of the most haunted places in Mississippi? It's because all the history that's happened over the past 230 years. It's like a time capsule for three different periods of history. There has been ghost sightings and paranormal encounters since 1864. That's 150 years of paranormal history in this house. McRaven House was around the center of the Siege of Vicksburg. We were a part of something called like the Siege of War? Vicksburg, where the Union Army would take the town under siege for 47 days oh, straight. Wow, it literally says on top. Town, Stupid. Meaning people starved to death, they couldn't get food or water throughout the cities, they were basically trapped in here. Disease spread, people were eating rats, their shoe leather, they were what going the insane. Fuck? Even after the war, they would bury bodies on this ground. The gentleman who builds this front section of the house was a guy named John H. Bob. John, Bob. John allowed this area in the courtyards to be field hospitals for the Confederate Army. We estimate around 300 mm. men are going to be buried here. Well, mostly in this area. Oh in some my... spots of it is actually the ground spongy. Oh, still what? settling from yeah. the graves. The oh yeah. Hell? How deep were they? They still pop up from time to time. What? Like the, the soil or around the house more? erodes like you would not believe. So every now and then those guys pop out of the mud from time to time. <laughs> what? A random bone, a random femur. Uh, <laughs> get back in there real quick that is like a zombie movie just like imagine a hand coming out of the ground oh, yeah, like oh my god zombies. this is literally a horror movie oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry 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 whoa yo wait uh what, what type of bone is this? That's the thing. We're still trying to piece it together. So I personally <laughs> think it might be a clavicle, but it seems a little clavicle, like right here, like yeah, yeah, right a clavy. That's like a Confederate soldier that's 200 years old in your hand. It's this side right here. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Ah. Uh, is that the first match. time you guys have actually held real human bones? I think Wait, so. Probably it's human bones. Yeah. yeah I, think I the hope first so. Time I ever went to like a random backyard and was like, oh, here's a human <laughs> bone. Let me hold this. You're saying you don't want to hold this human bone? Brett? I'm down. Let's do it. Yeah! Down, cool. We're all doing this Whoa. respectfully. Yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. With reverence. Yo, that is gnarly. The gravity wow. of that is wow. so overwhelming. It is insane. Wait, wait. Are you talking about some shit that already going on? I literally don't want to sound crazy. When we were in the field, I could almost like hear like Confederate soldiers like screaming in my head. I'm feeling something right now. <laughs> oh, I'm hearing screams or something, but I don't know what was going on. It was so weird. I've had like weird experiences like that in the past, but never like that. I don't know if I was just like nervous, but I. Like... Uh, uh, fuck. Because I'm not even gonna lie to you guys, that really happens to me as well. 
but like i'm gathering some information whether it's like from the civil war or some other stuff um that happened back in the days like i start to paint a picture in my head and then i don't know where the picture comes alive and i start to play that picture over and over in my head and then i don't know where i feel like it's actually happening like i'm actually hearing the voices i don't know i, I mean shit it's probably the same time it's like they're getting so much information based on the civil war based on the house how the house got built this and that but i can see why he's hearing all uh, soldiers screaming and stuff because then again it, it's a civil war history was there if that makes sense like for me it yeah, does like it felt, felt something i mean it's like energy yeah like a wave over you i've never experienced anything like that before this is not just like some random like haunted hotel. This is a 200 year old house that has 300 bodies buried around it. Rumored to be the most haunted in the state of Mississippi. Oh, 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 oh shit, it's a ghost! Oh. A friendly ghost. Hey. <laughs> I don't see anything. I'm all locked us in for leaving. Lock us in? Oh god. Oh, Whoa, where are, where are you going? What the dude? This definitely screams haunted. This is scary. Is this all my heart? It's all racing. Yeah, this is all original brick and plaster. This is the oldest standing building in Vicksburg, built in 1797. Wow! Originally, this was meant to be a hideout for a man named Andrew Glass. Now let's talk about the most negative spirit here, a man by the name of Andrew Glass. Legend has it that Mr. Glass was a highwayman who would often rob and beat people and was just Oof. a terrible person in a general. Thief. Not just that, like he murdered people. So Shit. Andrew Glass would intercept travelers going past this area, attack them, then he would take their loot back to this place. He created this mansion as a hideaway. But one day, he got caught. Uh, he gets shot during a robbery. He manages to make it back here to his house where he tries to patch himself up but passes out that's when his wife mary finds him mary had caught wind that andrew had been cheating on her so when she finds him incapacitated she takes one of his razor blades and just slits his throat oh that is my crazy. god the funny thing about andrew is he's a bit of a creep we have three women who work here at the mcraven house none of them come up here by themselves because andrew freaks them out too bad we've also had people with things being stolen because he's of course a highway robber the big thing in this room that gives me the creeps is that little personal nightmare of mine that we have in the oh room oh my god that's wait out. what is that so that's a cornhusk doll we like to call her little debbie oh my how old is cornhill debbie that's the thing we don't know we don't even know where she comes from or who owned her originally but the big thing we know that about is debbie is she likes weird. to move around we come up here and found her in the bed here in this chair in the corner she likes to really sit in this high chair that we have wait just get up out of here and move all the way over there in the middle of the night what she should never have a heat signature, but you'll find that sometimes she does. One night, I was given an 8.30 tour, and I had about 12 people, and I was standing there. There was a college-age couple, and as I was telling Andrew's story, you know, I, I was looking at the girl, and she just looked terrified, like she looked like she was going to faint. Finally, I stopped and said, can I ask, are, are you okay? Is something touching you? Because that happens here in this room. And she just pointed at the cradle, and the doll had been lying just like she's lying now. Mm -hmm. But during the tour, she got up and stood up, leaned against the back of the bed. So when I looked Bro, down at her, she's fuck? looking back at me, right in the middle of a tour. Wait, wait, she moved like she while moved you guys were looking? In, in the middle of a tour. Oh my God. Do you think it's like Andrew Glass doing this? I don't, I think there's something attached to her. God, it. attachment's not good, dude. <laughs> not That's good. something you don't want. Andrew would have any reason to be affiliated with the Cornhusk doll. Rim pods really work well in this room. Insulting him. Insulting him? names? Can we do that? Is that okay? Say oh, wow. whatever crass words you want to say. Yo! That's not good. I've never had somebody say that we could do that. In I don't think. Place. I don't think we have. And, whoa! And that's so oh my god, do. dude. Boy, do the, the camera's freaking out. Why? Do you face? see yeah, yeah. all the weird shit that's going on? That's so never happened to this camera. Everything around you is like fuzzy. Hey, really? and what like, the hell? What's that happening? Well, I'm gonna make sure that I'm gonna shut this off.
Well, I mean, it's, it's probably the ghost or the spirit feeding off that energy. One of the most violent That's why it's probably glitchy. Heard about. The previous owner, Leyland French, had some horrible encounters with ghosts here. He would have some invisible force shove him down these stairs. So those ones right there? These ones right here. He actually had that door slam shut on him and break his thumbs. There's no a little way. yellow house four doors up the street. Leyland owned that house too. He bought it so that he could have a safe place to sleep when he can't be here. But in 2008, he abandoned this property, moved out in the middle of the night, didn't tell anyone where he's going. And he did this because his final night here in the house, he's coming up behind the final door and, well, he makes it right about where you're standing in the back. He makes it right here when something squishes under his shoe and he finds that a guest has spit a piece of chewing gum onto his carpet. He gets on his hands and knees and starts cleaning it up and then something pushes his head into the floor oh, so bro. hard that it broke his nose. Oh my oh, god. god. Oh, force. He had glass shards all over his face. He had to, to have do that his shit no later way. that night. If he finds out he's talking on the phone with someone from the McRaven house, he hangs up his phone. What? Wow. He has no anything to do with this place. No way. What? Get on the phone tonight. You don't have like <laughs> physical things that are that bad. Shoving your face in the ground, breaking your fingers in a drawer, you push down the stairs. Like that's like paranormal activity shit. It reminds me Pretty a lot much. of like the Sally house. Why would you say oh. that? <laughs> we figured it out. We realized that the switch from autofocus to manual focus was on, but we never did that. We've been filming on this camera for two years. I've never switched it to manual focus ever. You actually need to put force. Like, if my hand was just sitting there, there's no way it would happen. But it happened in the middle of the story about Andrew Glass and the negative spirit. But he literally could have just been messing with you, just switched it. Exactly. First ever day I had in this house all to myself, all of this fine china started to rattle and shake. I thought something was going to fall off and crack into a million pieces, and I let out a little four-letter word. Shit or fuck? Uh, <laughs> right after that happened, I'm standing again right around where you are, and dude, <laughs> okay, at the wrong know, spot. Know, but I hear this right spot, old lady at the voice right in my bro. ear go, "Excuse me!" Like she's really. <laughs> What you actually yeah. heard is like in your ear yelling. Oh yeah. I'm Kayla Bowler. I'm a freeloader. At least you're honest about it. I may or may not have uh, made a very dirty joke. And as oh. soon as I finish my sentence, we hear a loud bang coming from in here. I go around the table and there is a candle on the carpet. Silver one on the left fell out of that candle holder onto the carpet. The next night, you know, we're arguing in the foyer. All of a sudden, we hear a loud bang come in here. And it's the, the candle, candle on the again. Right. No way. What? Since then, I've learned not to use my dirty words in this house. Oh, yeah. so, we understand now. <laughs> we wanted to introduce you guys to the most active spirit named Mary. Of course, her name is Mary. Every place on the goddamn Mary. In 1836, Mary and Stephen Howard moved into this house. They made a lot of renovations, made it so much bigger, and wanted to start a family. Sadly, two weeks after the birth of her first daughter, Mary died from childbirth. Like we said, she is the most active spirit of the house. She is very friendly. She loves making herself known. Okay, that's just not cool, man. And that's just However, creepy because Mary as died at such a young age, a lot of people theorize that she's sad because her life felt incomplete. That might be why she is so active and trying to participate in other people's investigations. She just wants to be heard. Here's Mary's room. Here's Watch the, the camera, Whoa, the right? Is not even so this one over here? Yeah, it Whoa. It's okay. Mary's room. This Here is the nice ghost. This is the nice ghost, dude. This is like Casper, but girls are. See the cabinet? Yeah, this is gonna be the most active spirit of the night, apparently. Bro. Yeah. Watch on the camera. Oh, fuck. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is there like AC over there? No? Why is that shaking? Wait. It's open. It's open. Wait, 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 wait. It just opened. Nah, just bro. Opened up. Yeah. No, 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 no. They have to have some string or something. Ain't no way that should just close and then open the gate. No nah, man, hell no. Nah. nah. I just, dude. Wait, did you just see that? I walked in it and it just like slowly opened up. We didn't touch anything. Does that does that thing open on its own? Yeah, that's Mary. Oh my god! 
it, dude. You just saw that. You just saw that. We were 15 feet away. That was it looking directly at it. Yo, I hope that's on camera. I hope that got on camera. Anything like that direction? I definitely saw the ending because I was like, wait, is that a light thing? Because it was flapping open. You were like, this is the most active part of the house. Boom. Right after. It was almost like, hello, hi, I'm here. Fuck. That literally just closed halfway and then open again. There's no wind here. Oh. Yo, wait. There's no strains, there's no pulleys, no okay. smoke. Okay. Yo, Debunk. that's so creepy. The same year they move in this house, Mary finds out that she's pregnant with her and Stephen's first child. Later that year, she would deliver their beautiful, healthy baby girl named Karen, but unfortunately, she's going to pass away in oh, childbirth. Okay. Right here, right in this room. All this stuff that we have on display, those are some of her books, her jewelry box, her gloves. All original? Whoa. All original. Wow. From 1830s? Is this her actual bed? Yes, sir, it is. Dude. Can I ask you a question? Yeah, what's up? Is she like a, a show off? Not so much a show off. She just likes letting people know she's here. Yeah. She, yeah. Really <laughs> so she nice. plays around with them. She has a real soft spot for babies, little toddlers. She likes to play with their hair. It's crazy how they have everything original, just nice, intact. Probably scuffs. Damage here and there, but everything looks That is crazy, bro and, then, and, and what did they say? It was like 150 years ago And keep it this way On an excellent Excellent, uh, what do you call it? Shape For the bed, the The mirrors, the stuff, everything, the bit Fuck, that is crazy uh, uh, tickle their ribs. She'll also oh, like to play. What was that? What, did you hear that too? Yeah, yeah. There was footsteps out in the hall. Is someone here? Did she follow us up? Hello? Hello? We've also found out that Mary really likes moving things around her room. We had all of our guests downstairs in the dining room, and we all heard furniture moving up here. So I came mm -hmm. bursting up into the room in that chair that we have in the corner. So it's in the entryway, blocking off the entrance to the room. I come in here, and there's no one in this back end of the house. I also find this trundle bed that belonged to the Murray sisters that's been pulled all the way out to, bro. Well, again, right about where you're standing. <laughs> bro. Hey, we're good at this. <laughs> but uh, this has gotten so bad that Lately. Oh, oh, <laughs> Yo, was that you just dropping it or did that come out of your pocket? It came out of my pocket. No way! No way, no bro. Way. Stop That's that, so bro. Weird. Wait, it's actually, real. where was it? Where was it? I didn't touch it. No, no way! Are you kidding me? Okay. There's only two things. Because that's a jean jacket and the pockets are deep. Pause. So, it can just you can't just put your phone there and then just by the moment it, it can't fall off. Either that actually did happen or he was just messing with his phone in his pocket and then once he tried to take his hand out, it fell. Because the pockets on the jean jackets are like deep. So it can't fall off even if you make a big movement. So I don't know. Skeptic on that one. I was just standing there. You were messing with it? I wasn't even touching it. No, no way. way! Have you what? ever seen anything like that? Oh no! Uh, like I mean, taking phones I'm, out of I'm your still pocket? That's, that. that's the new one. Oh my god! Yeah, like I'm not there. Right? I didn't that's see his crazy. hand. So. Is that your jacket pocket? It just oh, fell wait. right out. It was like in here like this, and fell out of your pocket randomly. It just fell out. Oh my god! Yo, Mary is like active, active. I think she likes you guys. <laughs> That's good. Mm -hmm. We like you too, Mary. That was weird. It, did, it it honestly felt like something like pulled on me. I was just standing there. My heart's racing. Dude, five minutes ago you're like, ah, I don't know if I believe, but I want to. <laughs> and then boom, a door opens and your yeah. phone gets taken out of your pocket. Dude, she sure. you. She's like targeting you. Because yeah. Like you said you didn't oh my god. She was like, let me show you. Oh, oh. dude, this is gonna be <laughs> sick. Wait, wait, what happened? He said there's somebody walking in the yard. It's that whole crew of people just walking right through there. What? That's what's known. Bro. It's like when you're up on the balcony, you can see like Confederate groups of soldiers walking yeah. around. He literally just said he saw a group of kids or something. Just they're so Do you have anybody else in your groups? No. 
John Bob. Each room has its different like, smell and vibe. Oh, I don't yeah. feel too bad in this one. No. I feel like kind of anxious in Andrew Glass's. Yeah. Room. Yeah. I feel the most calm in here. Holy shit! I thought I just saw something out there, but I guarantee you that was the, the reflection. reflection yeah. You're gonna want to keep an eye on that. That might be John. <laughs> oh <my laughs> God. Wait, what do you mean? John Bob? Yeah, he gets sighted standing on the front balcony. That's where he likes to go out. <laughs> you did just see Maybe, it. yeah. But he was also walking in, so I'm gonna blame it on that. Oh. Our final oh. haunting of the night takes place in 1849 with a man named John Bob. This place actually used to be called the Bob House. Yeah. That's really not scary at all. <laughs> So from 1849 to 1863, oh, nothing really happened. Not he lived a nice, quiet life. Then the war happened. Like we said earlier, this was on the grounds of the Civil War, specifically at the Siege of Vicksburg. So like we said before, this place turned into a field hospital during the war, and a lot of people died here from disease and also went through a bunch of weird operations that weren't exactly safe. They know this because they found bullets with teeth marks in it because they would put the bullet in a soldier's mouth so they had something to bite down on when they were screaming. Hence the term, bite the bullet. They also uncovered what? a lot of bones around the yards of this place that were literally sawed in half, meaning that they got their limbs amputated. One year after the siege of Vicksburg, the Union soldiers had taken occupancy, right? They came around the house picking flowers. They're apparently drunk, causing some havoc. John Bob was like, hey, get off my property. Ends up having to throw a brick at them <laughs> in order to get them off their property. He had to. He ends up throwing a brick at one of these guys trying to scare them off, Damn. but it clocked him right in his noggin and knocks him out. Now, apparently, John Bob had the throwing capacity of an MLB player. <laughs> John Bob Bob had the throwing capacity of a modern day MLB player because the brick smacked to one of the Union guys straight in the noggin and knocked him out. So Jesus. soldiers vowed I mean, it's to a come brick. back and arrest Fuck. him, which they did. They'll return later that night with 25 friends. Carry him a few yards past his train tracks out here, and John tries to make a break for his life. They shoot him in the back while he's trying to run away. When this doesn't kill John, they get up right in front of him and shoot him directly in his face. Jesus oh. Christ. That would make John the first civilian casualty of the Siege of Vicksburg. So John Bob is seen all over the house, specifically on the balcony, smoking cigars, maybe, you know, yelling at the soldiers that are around the yard. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, Reflex, bro. Oh, that was crazy. I hope we got all right, guys, so we're about to start the investigation. Stay till the end of this video because we're going to make them do some crazy haunted shit. We're going to throw them in the deep, and they said they're willing to do some crazy stuff, so we're going to put them to the test. Maybe make them do the S to spend it. It's about to get real, guys. Oh, we're going no. to the scariest guy first, Andrew Glass. Wait, yeah, why the are we thief? doing that? Celeste. Gotta start with the best first, man. We always start with the worst things. It feels heavy, dude. Yeah. Like, I don't know if it's just like the humidity. It is stickier in here. Almost feels like you're walking through like thick air, <laughs> right? Like fat air. Is this like one of the oldest places you've been to? Yes. Like, in, in America, for sure, yeah. dude. Dude, I yeah. can't believe he was just like, yeah, you should um uh, provoke him too. Everyone always tells us not to do that. I was yeah. like, oh god. Well, this yeah. guy's a bitch. He's not coming at us. Right? I don't really. Oh, oh man, he's already oh, starting. Oh, Brett, holy shit. <laughs> you know, he just look over, he's levitating he's with the like, haunted doll, stranger <laughs> thing shit. <laughs> Women wise, they said that this thing, which is called the, the REM pod, works the best in here. Anything comes near this antenna, it will like light up just like that. That's not his chair, that's his chair. Oh, 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 oh. Fuck wait, 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 just stop. What the fuck? What the what fuck? Does that mean? Yo, what? what does that mean? I'm uh, um, I've never seen it do the, the, just the red one. It's it's it's, it's moving no. around. He's in here right now. Maybe. That means like something's like going by that. Well, antenna. yes. It will light up where it's at. So the fact that it was on this side and then that side, something's moving in that corner. Oh, oh my, my god! god. Now he left. Oh, what the fuck? Holy shit! Is, oh oh again. Okay, back. Get on. Weak. If this is <laughs> Andrew Glass, can you? Right fuck. He doesn't like that. It stopped. He Andrew bumped. Glass. Oh, there you go. Oh my god. Wait, what's going on? It's going off and on as if he's walking back and forth. Dude, that actually makes no sense. Could you touch this room, bud? And... Oh, shit. Fuck that. Can, reset it or... Can you step away from that right now? Come over with us. What the fuck? He might have broken our equipment. With no light, looking into the other room is so eerie. 
<laughs> oh my god, dude. Oh, oh god. Oh, god. <laughs> What's going on with this thing, dude? Dude, what? It's broken. It's There's actually something. broken. Did he break it? It was working two days ago. Yeah. Yes, literally, like on our trip, it was working. It didn't go off all night. No, nope. what the fuck? Some butt plugs. These are yeah, butt plugs. plugs. Turn them around. They just flashlights. <laughs> oh yeah. Turn them on and off like that, but it's just regular flashlights. So, Simple as that. Like, it's, like a, it's, it's not ghost equipment. It's hot like, up it here. Feels, it feels a little more dense. Yes, definitely. Humid or something. Wait. Oh, the temperature. Speaking of. What's so that mean? That the high pitch sound. That's heat. It's it's like getting more hot in here. I just said it was getting hot in here. Which maybe it's just because four dudes are in here, not hotter than usual, and we're just oh sexy. Oh my god! Super hot dudes are in here. Whoa! Did you hear something? What? Did the, the, did the light just go off? Was that on? Was that on? Yeah, was that on? When you, you set that on? It was on. Okay, okay. That one just turned on. Oh, 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 bro. No, you, Whoa! That one, that one just turned on. Was that turns on. on? Was no, that was that one was on. This, this one, one was off one. for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Andrew Glass, if that is you, or if there's a spirit in here, can you turn that flashlight off? Temperature. That was almost on time. Oh my God. Maybe give him a countdown. Oh, bro, I'm getting chills. Fuck that. Oh, I'm getting chills. Oh, no, no. That is crazy. Wait, you try it. I'm not, I'm not, like, I don't know Bro, how I'm that works. I'm wearing a sweater. Try it. Do what? Just a say, hoodie? hey, Andrew Glass, if you're here, just tap chills, one of these man. flashlights. Yeah. Something. Oh, oh, oh. It's just it's on and off. On and off. What on the and fuck? off. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. This is a fucking trip. Turn the flashlight off if you like when girls are in this room. Oh, oh, oh shit, man. that one turned on. Immediate. That was not even a second. Oh. Andrew Glass, do you like the work here? Turn off this blue flashlight. Still getting hotter in here, too. Dang. Oh my god. <laughs> I guess he likes us, so that's good. Did that one just go on, too? Yeah. Dude, it's weird, it's going back and forth. Like, yeah, it was like, like perfectly. Pace, didn't we just say that earlier? Yeah, he was like, pacing, pacing back and forth. Fuck this guy. Oh no. I dare you to say, like, fuck you, Andrew Glass. You say it, huh? <laughs> <laughs> He's, He's yeah. like, nah, fuck yeah, that. Yeah, you say it, huh? Andrew, do you prefer. Turns on. Whoa, both at the same time. Wow. Blondes and brunettes. <laughs> Yo, that's, that's crazy. It. And these aren't trick flashlights. No, yeah, you, you mess with them, right? Literally normal flashlights. Oh, that one's gonna turn off, too. Andrew Glass, we want to make sure you're actually here. Can you go over? Again. Did you just point towards the rim pod? I was about to say, can you, go, can you go sit over there? Thank you. Can you walk away from that? Then it stops. What the fuck Bro, was that? What? It's weird. Things are usually not that active. What? Did oh. you hear something? I just heard something. It was like a walk. For real? Wait, what is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? Is that a bug? Did you hear something yeah, yeah. walking? It's a bug. Oh, it's a bug. Oh, oh my shit. god. Andrew Glass, I don't believe you're real. And I don't want to use any of the equipment. I want you to actually touch me. Move the doll Bro, or something you crazy? that we can see, that we can hear, isn't the equipment. Can you do that for us? I want to know if you're actually real because I don't believe so. Flashlight. Maybe? No. What? Actually, what? I swear what? To Wait no for real? Way. Stop. Actually? Like just like right here. That was crazy. That's exactly what we just said. We wanted we asked for that. Like. Wait, didn't you just say the the hair thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Glass is known for playing with hair. Just really, like felt like a pull on my hair like that. You're also the only one that said like a mean thing towards him. You just like asked him, but you said like fuck you, dude. That's crazy. <laughs> you wanna try it again? I'm too nervous. Uh, <laughs> I was like, fuck that, I learned my lesson. Me. You're trying to make fun of him, see what happens. <laughs> oh, no. Really fun. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> no. It's like, it's like too real. Oh. Oh, God, that's the temperature still going up. And that's dude, the flashlights are just chilling now. I just think it's a little embarrassing that the more haunted thing in this room is a little doll. It's not even you. And you're too scared to mess with dudes up here, but you mess with women instead. Or me. With no my hair. <laughs> He's like a girl. I think everyone needs like a little touch. 
Yeah. Oh, I heard that. I want you guys to, not just light, that light just went off, but I want you guys to experience the touch too. Because right now I'm the only one who has had the phone. Yeah, you had the You're phone. Right. And the hair pulse. And I'm like. Well, remember when you were coming up to the house, you were the only one too that was like, I don't really know if I believe in this, yeah. this stuff. But also you said you had a weird feeling as well, right? I've always had a complicated relationship with, with spirits because my mom is a huge believer in medium. She thinks I'm like, a, I have the empath in me where I can have spirits kind of speak through me. Oh. Wow. oh. Oh no, my man's a medium. Or he thinks, or he doesn't know how to work or how it works. I don't know. Shit. If you guys are new to the channel, if you guys don't know what a medium is, a medium is a person that can talk, can see, can feel, and can also hear spirits whether that's voice or you know through their through their head this is people like these do exist people that can't see the dead people or or should i say the spirits which is crazy and it's going on again it's crazy what the fuck it's like it's super on. dim but I've always been like really resistant to it and like not sure what to believe. But then the second we got into the field, I heard like you got that feeling and stuff. Yeah. 200 years ago, 300 years ago. Like that's what I think. Like a war scream or something. Yeah. Wait, but, but we didn't even tell you until we got onto the tour that it was like a field hospital. Oh. What was that? Was that? Outside. Outside. No, I can't be outside. It's so it's inside. That's right below us. So you trapped in this time period. And this part of the house. Yeah. Whoa! Jeez. There we go. There we go. Oh, he can't leave. This he room. can't leave. Just like the, the tour guide said. Which makes sense because again, he doesn't even know this room exists because it wasn't it a part of his time. So this was so maybe is that this used to be a balcony. Well, then I wonder if we go forward in time, if Mary can still come in here yeah. and Whoa. know this was Andrew. Here. Maybe like you can't go forward, but you could see backward. Oh. Maybe. Let's find out. Oh my god, that's so terrifying. Oh no, I'm getting Yo, chills, you're not gonna chills. fucking believe it. You're not gonna fucking believe it. Yes, we shut it on camera. We have it on what camera and it's open. This is not we didn't come back in this room since we started this whole thing. No. Before we get into Mary's investigation, guys, it is Hell Week! That means we are making Explore Club only one dollar to join. That means you get all our exclusive content, even from past months, just for one dollar. Guys, it's gonna be the cheapest that it has been all year, so do not miss this opportunity. Use this code right here to get it for one dollar. And guys, we are on the road to 10 million subscribers! Ah! <laughs> Guys, just take five seconds, maybe in three seconds, go subscribe right now. Just go, go subscribe to the channel Where are we? and make amazing content. Did something just be, ding? Might be these stopwatches. Which brings me to our next experiment. We are here in Mary's room. This is technically a different time period. We have two hourglasses, both said to be three minutes. We want to have one hourglass in this room, one hourglass in Andrew Glass's room. See if the time is different. Ooh. For two reasons. One, if it actually is a different time, which may or may not, that's kind of some Stranger Things thing. Or <laughs> two, they're both <laughs> magnetic. And so it's believed as spirit energy is electromagnetic energy. All the magnetic stuff inside so to get this straight their theory is if they go to different rooms it equals different time periods for example that the thief it, it was it was it was 1920 something i believe and then mary's room is it's not 19 i think it's 1820 something and then mary's room is 1836 so I guess they're trying to test if they're different, if their rooms affect, I don't know, bro, I don't know. So they're trying to see if each room has a different time. Is that what they're trying to do? Interesting. Because nobody has ever done that before. Interesting theory. I could be affected by that. So who wants to take Andrew Glass's room alone? Andrew Glass, that's his name. Are we together? Two on two type thing? <laughs> two, two on two? Two on two. If it's more than like two seconds off, uh -huh. five, ten seconds off, that's super weird. It we, could just be the same. It could be the same, we don't know, but let's ask both spirits. Try to change this if you can. 
Mayor Balsy. The first time they're on our channel, we're just like, yeah, just go alone. And literally, the principal was touched in that room. His phone went out of his pocket, everything. Oh my, oh my god. god, it is scary in here. This is crazy. Oh my, oh my god. Mary, if you can affect this hourglass, please do so and we'll know you're here. No. Andrew, if you want to mess with this time, throw it off. See how you can do it. All right, you guys ready? Yeah. We'll flip it and then click at the same time. Flip and click. Three, two, that was like literally the same time. Andrew, if you can, alter the timepiece. Mary, are you here? Come on, Andrew. Andrew, are you in here? We heard you're the most active spirit in here. Prove it to us. You look so cool. <laughs> Andrew, if you're in here, can you can you alter the hourglass, please? Can you open up that door one more time? That cabinet? Come on. Dude, that is so <laughs> weird. How's that looking? Come on, it's close. It's almost out. It's almost out. It's almost out? Yeah. It's not really quick to see it. Done. We time. got ours. Done? We're still going. We're still going. We have a lot left. What? No yeah. way, we're, bro. We're, yes, what do you got? We're still no going. No way their theory has to actually work. Yeah, what the fuck? Finished. What the shit? 228? That is 20 seconds off. 20 seconds difference. 20 seconds difference? 19.35 what the hell? seconds, bro. Wait, come over here. Wait, Wait that makes no that sense. Okay, I was going to say, like, if it was 5 seconds off, if it was 10 seconds off even, but 20 seconds difference, that's a lot. Yeah, when you guys you were done, we saw like a, little, a shit ton of 210 and 228. These are the exact same model. 210. We did this experiment because we're like, let's just have some new stuff happen. Like, we had no intention of that actually working. What? Wait, does that mean Andrew was a stronger spirit and messed with it? Like, what? Get, for, like the, from like the magnetic, yeah, yeah. magnetic, ugh, magnetic little set. Yeah, the, See, like I can't fucking talk. Can't get the beads from, from going down. Either that or is it like the way it was positioned? I don't know, dude. That's. They're the exact same model. Oh man, uh, I like I like their theory on that. But then again, to debunk it and make sure that it wasn't only the magnet that was affecting the beads or whatever's inside the the the, the glass, the time glass, whatever you want to call it. I would try without the magnet again to see if. It lines up that the the magnet wasn't uh the thing that affect the time. Man, they're supposed to be oh. exactly the same. Oh. They came in the same pack. Should we ask him if he missed me? Right? Let's try it. All right. We received no further communication from Angel. You guys are really gonna like this one. This is my favorite thing to use. It's called the spirit box. It scans through radio frequencies and will just spit out words. So spirits can just come in here and talk. This is what it sounds like. Yeah, but Wait, did that just oh. open? What? That, we were was that on here. camera? You were was that, this was that opening? Did you see it open or no? Did we just- We weren't even moving. We were literally just sitting here talking. So you're just listening for words. Is there anybody in here with us? Any spirit? Mary, we heard this is your room. Can you confirm that? See what you're up to. Mary, can you say your name into this device I'm holding right now? This is. This is? Hello? Mary, can you say your name? Who's the spirit in this room? Man. Or man. What is the name of this house? Soldiers. Did you hear that? Yeah, soldiers. 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 Are we talking to a soldier right now? Heart attack. In a room? In a room? Does someone have a heart attack in a room here? What'd you say? I'm sorry to interrupt. I really am. You remember Harry Murray? He had a heart attack in the room right underneath him. Oh, That's what killed him. Whoa. Heart, heart attack in a room. Was he a soldier? He was drafted into the last two months of World War One. Wait, it's okay. So it's a soldier heart attack in a room. Are we talking to a man named Harry who was a soldier? Probably. Probably. Did you fight in the war? Wait, wait. How did you die in this house? Is there anybody else here with you, or is it just you? Just... 
Soldier. Soldier. Maybe we do the Ovilus because it'll be clearer. Curse of Satan. Satan. Oh. So this is like the same thing as a spirit box, but it just enunciates the ones that it can pick up for us. So we have captain of the it would be like what they would call someone in a war. We think we were talking to a soldier, yeah, like or someone who was in the war. Can you confirm that? Is your name James? Or bro and stuff like that. That's crazy. What was the name of the guy? Fatal cost. What? 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 Why did it say like the cave? Drag. Who was James? He's a timid guy. Timid oh, he's a friendly, 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 friendly timid guy. Friendly, what the timid fuck? guy. What's up? Do you know of a guy named Andrew Glass? I heard tap. Do you know of a girl named Scare? Scare. Scare. Trade and sell. Horse. You know who's in this room? Can you tell us who you are? Maybe not your name, but mm -hmm. job or, or what you're like or anything? Oracle. What's that? Isn't that like a empath yeah, person? Yeah, like a psychic type of thing. She. We're on the Mississippi River. Did you come down? Tragic. Tragic. Were you here during the siege of Vicksburg? Both times, both in Andrew Glass and here, it's like a lot's going on, but it's not intelligent. There's one ghost story I didn't tell you guys. Uh, this no. is the first documented oh, case of a ghost popping up at the McRaven house. After John Bob was killed, the house is turned into a union headquarters. Now, there was one man named Colonel J.H. Wilson. Colonel, not Cardinal. Colonel. Who's real good Moscow buddies with ass. Captain James McRaven. Oh, that makes so much sense now. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Oh, I am getting oh, chilled, bro. Captain and James. Captain James. Oh, now, you know, you, you like, mentioned the river, yeah? The yes, yeah. the river, too. So, Captain James Crazy. McPherson disappeared one night. He reappeared as a ghost to tell him that while he was going to attend a bonfire here in town, he'd been killed by one of the citizens of Vicksburg dumped in the Mississippi River. What the fuck? Chill. McPherson was dumped in the Mississippi River, came yeah. back as a ghost and told, told his buddy, Colonel Wilson. Wilson. This was the very first ghost story ever recorded in like 1860s? 1864. Before the Civil War's over, Damn. same year as the Union occupation of the town. In this room. <gasps> in this room. <gasps> wow! Dude. We thought we had nothing. It was so confusing. That makes so much sense now. Dude, that's nuts. I had to run all the way down to get this. The very wow. first ghost ever recorded wow. in this room. Look, man, I wouldn't believe it if I wasn't here for it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was cool. That was trippy. That gave me chills. Yeah, man. Because we thought it was like, we were like, there's no, we're like, like there's not Mary. Sense. Like, it doesn't add up to any of the stories that we already know. So he stayed here after Mary. After John Bob died, the house's union oh, yeah, headquarters, yeah, yeah. that's when they're staying. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And then I, we we Mary, should go search for John Bob cool. and some more soldiers. Yeah, good yeah. idea. Woo! What are you guys thinking? This is getting real. Jeez. This is yeah. getting real. Yeah. Fucking connecting the dots. I can't wait for you guys to watch it back too and see like what other words we're yeah, saying. Now that we, we missed. know what the story is, there's probably so many more things that we didn't know. Same with wait, the spear box. He said money, and he said the guy that killed him came from wealth. He was a real wealthy, prominent man of high social standing here in Vicksburg. Whoa. Jeez. Alright guys, if you're enjoying this video so far with Todd and Brett, leave a like if this gets 300,000 likes, we'll do a part two with them. Go show some love, leave a like, spank that subscribe, and have a great day. We're doing all new Hell Week merch that's only going to be available during Hell Week, so uh, get it now before it's over. Link in description, shopexplore.com. All right, here we go, guys. This thing is called a music box, it's fucking terrifying. Oh, no, oh my of course, god. It plays <laughs> scary that music. Steps in front of it. That's the sound it makes? Stop. Oh, hell no. Should we introduce the Estes method to them? Oh. Bro, imagine you're sleeping and, and you hear that out of the blue. No fucking way. And then you're like, what the fuck is that? You, you, try, you try to leave your room, you open the door. And then all you see is a dark hallway. Nah, fuck that, bruh.
K oh, yes. Wait, so Estes? Yes, T E S, because it was founded in Estes Park, which is where the Stanley Hotel is. You know The Shining? Have you ever yeah, seen yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Remember the spirit box thing? Yeah. So basically, it's using one of those, except you put headphones in there, and then you put blindfolds on, so you're oh, basically like wow, sensory so deprived, so and you're only listening to what you're hearing, Holy those words. Fuck. And you know that theory that like when you cut off other senses, yeah. your one sense becomes stronger? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's basically the theory there. I'm ready. All right, he's just gonna become a conduit. This is the best way we could get real answers. Feel free to ask any questions. No stupid questions. Will I find a girlfriend? No, it's cool. Look, <laughs> is there anybody here with us? Are you in the room with us right now? Here. Following. Following? No way. Wait, were you a spirit that was following us from another room? Over. Over from another room. Is it? James? 18. Over used to be like in the war when they're doing the walkie-talkies like... Over. No one? The radio. Yes, you're speaking through a radio. Are you someone that lived here in the house? Me? This is John Bob. Can you tell us your name? Or if you died here? Here? Water. Wow! In the water! This could be James McPherson or Leave. or John Bob. Leave. Leave! Are you not happy we're here? War, together with... I bet this is McPherson. He'd be the only ghost in the house that was here at the time period of this part yeah. of the house. Did you die in the river? By the river? Over there. <gasps> oh my god! Yo! Over there? Did it hurt? Did you come back to this house? Do you haunt this house often? Normal. It's normal for him to be here, maybe? Do you know the name John Bob? Who? Dude, you... yeah. What the yeah. fuck? Did you just see something? Uh, it's just it's, like, it's windy outside. Oh, yeah. oh. Yeah, it scared the fuck out of me. Did did I I saw light? The light just like glared and glared. Oh my god, that is trippy. My nipples are hard. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, it's gonna be good time. How long does it take? Do you know who killed you? Oh no, you're no good. No. Oh no, don't. He says don't. You're, no, don't, yeah, don't, don't, don't you respect. It's like don't talk about that shit. Captain, let's go. Captain! Oh. Captain! Oh my god! Captain James makes five. Legs. One, two, three, four, five. Maybe he's the fifth person. Can you see the other spirits here? Oh no. Ooh. Try one. Our one! Four. One. Does that mean he's by himself or there's one more? If you were murdered over by the river, why the McCraven house? Distant. Are you trapped here? Can you move around freely? Rock. Rock. Yes. Maybe he can't move around freely? Something like that? We ran, right? How many spirits are we talking to right now? Oh, fuck. Why do that? What are you saying? I can't two. tell if that's a reflection two. or something behind you. There's two people here. Jesus Christ. What the fuck? Oh, what? 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 Guys. Did, did you see somebody? Uh, here? <laughs> Exactly. Dude, no, dude. You fucking freaked me out. Oh. Time. All right, final question. If you are James, can you give us a sign? How long is it? Yeah. Yeah. There's a sign. What's that? Yeah. A lot of it made sense, right? Yeah. yeah. Like uh, a lot, yeah, but dude. Like the pieces connected. I think we figured it out. It like aligned a lot with James McPherson and stuff like that. You said River, I killed, you came back here. They were seeing some weird shadow <laughs> stuff in both of those <laughs> and over there. Wait, you guys saw some shadows? It was just like reflections off the window. Look at the window right there. The windows and oh, stuff. Oh shit. Oh yeah, it's yeah. It's like fucking so spooky. spooky it's outside, huh? You guys down to try? Yeah. You will see how crazy it is. We can't hear anything. Oh! Oh! Is he gonna just... Yeah? Is that cool? Oh, yeah. You have been saying you're more empathic, and you've been feeling the most, so it might make the most sense. Flashlight right here as well. And he's under. Is there any uh, spirit here with us, here in this room? Help us. Holy shit. What? Help you from what? Make me cry. What the, what the fuck? fuck? Why would we make you cry? Are you afraid? Sometimes. Sometimes. Trains going off is so creepy. I know. It's oh, really God. creepy. All we need is just like the rain. Right. Yeah, honestly. Oh my God. What do you need help from? Mary, are you here with us? Oh no. Maybe you was oh, warning us. Rise. Were you trying to warn us in the last room about something negative? Yeah. <gasps> Whoa! Oh my God. Good ass. What should we be afraid of? Burn. Burn. Help me through. Help me through what? Where do you need to go? Are you trapped here? 
shit. No, yeah, bro. You said oh. burn is getting hotter. Oh, are that, you trapped bro. here? I'm, I'm getting Who chilled. are we talking to? Can you give Fucking us a name? Hell. Are we talking to James? Are we talking to a soldier? It's me. James, it's me! <laughs> Just to confirm, this is James McPherson? Hey. Holy shit. Why do you stay here? Are you saying you're scared because you're trapped? I don't. Don't stay don't here. Don't stay here? Yeah, maybe he does wander around. Maybe some people are trapped and some aren't. So why are you trying to warn us? I tried. I'm trying to warn us of bad things. Is there a negative energy here at the house? Yeah. No! no. <laughs> Holy fuck, bro. You think it's Andrew? Glass? Yeah, be gone. <gasps> oh, <gasps> no! Closing. It's hot. Can you show us in any other way that you're here? Can you move something or turn on one of these flashlights? I'm about to. Holy shit. Dude, oh. chills. You opened this door a few times before. Can you do it right now? Oh my god. Money. Money! Holy shit! Oh, didn't you say money earlier? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. The rich yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this money. is James. Why were you murdered, you know? We got that you were a traitor, maybe? You're right. Holy fuck! Yo, it chills down no by now, dude. Oh shit. Why is this I've gotten like seven chills already. <laughs> I, I don't got more. Know, can you see the other spirits? Are you free to see Locked all the different investigation. I've been getting chills left, okay. right, and center. Holy Pause. shit. Wait, wait, wait. Because he, he didn't die here. He didn't die here. So maybe so he came here. Like, yeah. The people that died are trapped here. Are trapped. You're right. Well, the people that died here are trapped here. Yeah. The people that are coming in, maybe from well, the portal, can see everything. Fine. Holy He's fuck. Fine for what? For what? What's about to happen? Dude, I'm freaking out. Because he died in the river. Right? Yeah. So we can come back here whenever. Cry. It's time to cry. Baby. It's time to cry. Baby. Mary. Uh, Mary. I'm screaming. He heard screaming too. Get out. First came. What, what the fuck, fuck does that bro. mean? What? Is that the heat? That's, That's the not the first heat, time right? it's had that light. Like that. Baby. Baby died here in this room. Oh, the bro. Wait, she died I from, died. from, I died from childbirth. Maybe it's Mary as well. Mary and James. We'll leave. Why do you want us to leave so badly? What's gonna happen? Why do we need to know that? What are you trying to figure out right now is what I'm asking. Yeah. Oh my no. god. Fuck he really that. wants us to leave. That's what I'm saying. Why? Dream. 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 Wait, night dream terrors. That's when he saw James oh, McPherson. The, the guy, the guy saw, in this room, right? Like he woke up from a dream and saw this guy as a ghost. Yes. So he's saying that's what's gonna happen. Oh! Oh, wait. Okay, wait, tell him. Holy shit. Oh, dude, what the wait, fuck? Wait, so he's everything he just makes sense. Yeah, besides the baby. He just baby. told us about him dying and then telling the guy coming back as a ghost and telling the guy what happened. <laughs> <laughs> in this room, right? Yo, like, basically, we were talking to James, for sure. James' original ghost story, when one of the soldiers was asleep, dreaming, woke up, he saw James McPherson. You basically were saying, get out, like, now, it's gonna happen, the night dreams. James McPherson, he was threatening to do the same to us as he used to back in the day. Oh, that's crazy. Yes. What's the last thing he said? You, like, mailed, you got it? You got the story. You got the story. You got the story. Like, what? Yeah. He basically yeah. said, Oh my god, that thing, bro, that thing was going, going off and off, on bro. the entire time. Dude. At one point I said something that I heard you guys scream, and it, but I was like so lightheaded. By the yeah. end, I was like, do you, do you get like light? Yeah, you're not supposed to do it for that long. I was like losing it, and I was like, I don't know what I'm saying, like, and then I was like, state, right? I was like lightheaded, yeah. No, yeah, it's Holy literally fuck. you get in this trance state, you know, like as oh, yeah. you become like an empath. The spirits in these time periods were trapped in the time period. But if you came from somewhere else, you could see everything. I think we figured out that most of these spirits that died in the house are trapped here in their respective like rooms. Or if you died later than the time period, then you can see everything before. All right. Oh, oh my god, that's just right she walked away. Dude, it didn't do that at all in the other Hold room. On. Why does it keep happening? It was quiet the entire time and only it was freaking out there. Oh, 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 oh my god. That's Andrew. Turn off the flashlight. Dude, it's some weird like residual style energy here. It's not like intelligent, I feel yeah. like. All of our equipment always works in here or fucks up. Or fucks up. And the camera too. Even like yeah. the camera fucked up here at first. This is weird energy in here. Okay, I'm gonna put it on the bed instead. Alright. Okay. Let's do it. Right, well, Something goes off. Oh, oh my god. Wait, now it's doing the weird one. What? What does that mean? Was it filming? Yes, yes, yes. No, that's completely different than what it was doing. Is that heat? Something in this room is like making that rim pod completely malfunction every time it's in here. Very bizarre. Dude, and the red flashlight didn't go on at all, last Estus method, and now it went on twice. Let's get to this. Yeah. Who 
are you? Negative. <gasps> negative spirit, negative energy. Do you not want us to be here? Is there anyone in here? <sighs> Whoa. Synchronicity? Synchronicity? Wait, all the time periods synchronizing? Yo. Uh, it's kind of frustrating. How the fuck did you make this out? You okay. might actually not be hearing things clear because it makes it might, sense. Nothing's clear. You said negative. That was like yeah. the clearest thing you said. Oh no, I'm telling something else is gonna happen. Holy yeah. fuck! He said that that happened. No one's gonna believe that. It but actually happened. Yo, Colby! It's Come down here right now. I thought you bumped your fat ass. We were so far <laughs> away from fat. this. No, 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 such a Yo, we, we were just talking about the outro and like just like about to go do that and look what fucking just dropped right now. Wait, in front of you guys? The, in front of us. The, can, the candle just dropped in front of us. <laughs> like we were this far away and we did not move. I just turned on the camera. Have you seen that candle fall off yet? Not that one. We just got that was about a week ago. Oh my oh god! My I don't think you like touched it. I know. I that's that's why I, I'm just saying no one's gonna believe us, but like we are this far, we did not move. Like yeah. swear on my life. You guys have an issue with candles falling here, right? Oh yeah. Yes. Yeah, like that those over there. What the fuck's going on? Oh, that's a spirit box. That's a spirit box getting colder, not warmer. That, that's great. I'm, oh, uh, I, I hate God. that no one's going to believe that because we weren't recording. I mean, don't believe them because they're like... Yeah, that, that actually happened. Yeah, they have no reason to lie. Would you ever do it again? Fuck yes. Do you have a song again? <laughs> if this gets 15 likes, make sure to go you, check bro. out the Good Boys <laughs> podcast. We're on there. Subscribe for more Hell Week videos. With that being said, we'll see you next time. Adios. Bruh. Man, another amazing video by Sam and Colby. They never disappoint with that. But guys, man, you guys should see the way I'm feeling. I'm getting chills. On whether they were getting responses, whether the ram pod was going off, this and that. And plus, it's dark as you guys can see. It, it is dark in my room, so man. Ah. Oh. Well, guys, I'm going to end the video here. I hope you guys like, subscribe, turn on that post notification. Well, I'm going to end the video here, you guys. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, turn on that post notification. Let me know down below what other videos you guys want me to react to. And make sure you guys stay in tune for my shorts because I will be uploading more shorts. Uh, It's going to be just gameplay on uh, my shorts. It's going to be gameplay and um. Actual video is going to be just reaction. So if you're into gaming, make sure you guys keep an eye out. And I'm going to let you guys know. I am thinking about going out and doing investigation as well. I just got to find the right people and the equipment. So make sure you guys stay in tune for that. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace, guys.